Hello everybody, and my name is Journeyman, and we are here with a brand new game, Warriors of Rochi 4. And as you can see, um, we are going to be starting out with the Takegawa army versus Unknown. Um, and so if you guys haven't played this before, uh, this game is a spin-off in between Dynasty Warriors and Samurai Warriors, kind of a mix between the two of them. Um, and it's just a really amazing combination between them and then mixing in with uh, different kind of lore um, and the last one I, they started mixing different game characters and everything in here um, so we'll be checking out number four here um, I tried recording this yesterday and I had issues with uh, with a file and so that's why we you see us already started at this point I guess I've done the first mission already um, but we will still go through this do it again, and hopefully, have the cinematics will still pop up on here. We'll keep going, and we'll be going through this together. Let's start this. And let's go. Oh, we missed the first cinematic. But essentially, what it is at the end of the third game, um, they had solved the, or they had fought, fought the, the big fight, and they had I gotten everything set to back to what it was supposed to be. Um, now everything worlds are colliding again and so now we're seeing the warriors from that is the warriors interact with the warriors from the samurai warriors uh, which are two different timelines and two different games as well okay and we got some zoo attack here so let's try to get some enemies in here Okay, nice. Okay. They keep pushing switch characters. And then there's these big... Just like that, there's these big things all over the place. Big things and then... Just odd things from... Um, it appears to be like a mix between like Greek gods and um, Norse gods and all that. I mean, they got Loki in here, they got Zeus. Um, so I'm really interested to go through the story, see how this all connects. Because um, if you guys don't know, uh, this is based, uh, like I said, Dice Wars and Samurai Wars, which are Koei uh, Techno games, Chinese based game, or comp Japanese based company, excuse me. Um, and so all these guys are typically uh, from that area, uh, which makes it all the more fun, I think. Okay, doing that. Okay, come on. Let's try to level her up and get her leveled out. Honestly, I don't care for her too much. I'd like to try to have them all around the same level, so I'm not having to worry about any... If I need a switch, I don't have any huge discrepancies in levels or anything like that. Okay. And this army here... It's looking like it, it belongs to Lubu. And like I said, I've gone through this first area, so this is belonging to Lubu. Um, if you don't know who Lubu is, Lubu is one of the strongest warriors in... Um, I mean, in, in history, he was one of the strongest warriors, one of the best generals. Uh, but he is also... Uh, in the games, the strongest character in the game. I don't know, Tadakatsu, the other are. Uh, not the guy we started out with, our third, though. Uh, are the, from, the, from the perspective game, which is Dynasty Warriors and Samurai Warriors. Come on. Wait, shoot. Wait, um. Now, forgive me if I get some of these names wrong. Um. I definitely am trying my best to get these names right, but obviously 
Chinese and Japanese are not my first language. Um, so forgive me if I get some of if I get some of the names wrong. And sometimes you might see some of the lags uh, in there. Uh, this is because I am streaming this from my PS4 onto my uh, PC to try for a different recording style instead to see if this works better for recording. So, for the most part, Wi Fi is fine. But like I said, there may be times where you might see a little dip here and there. Okay, so in here we have Lu Bu's daughter. And this right here confirmed to me that this was Lu Bu's army. After we saw uh, Ching, oh crap, what is his name? Chingon? And then Lu Bu's daughter? I was like, okay, Lu Bu's army is here, and that's not good for us. Oh, man, I like this guy. I've never played this one before. Let's go. <laughs> Cheng Gong. Okay. So what's happened right now is these guys, um, from what it sounds like, um, they're all back in the respective universes, uh, planets and everything, and then the gods um, saw what they went through and gifted them with these um, serpent bracelets. I want to say I believe that's what they I, I believe that's what they are modeled after what looks like a Rochi um, who's the main baddie of all these games so, uh, obviously the namesake um, and so uh, I don't know if it's meant to like be a gift to help these guys for everything they went through or what uh, but we have that there and then because of that, I think it's the character who is Loki. It doesn't actually say who it is. Um, stole one of the bracelets and threw it to the humans, which um, again reopened the barriers between the worlds somehow. Oh, I just the back step. Dang. Up here. Okay, and yeah, and so because of that, uh, like, like our characters um, were traveling. Here we go. We'll go with the cinematic first. Or actually, I don't think there's any. That's the race that I was talking about there. Yeah, um, so there's that. Better rating than last time, sped that up a little bit, got better kills, and then we actually completed all the challenges as well, which is super nice. And then bond levels went up, uh, bonds increase um, certain abilities and certain skills that people share, and number three also unlocked extra missions, depending on whose bond you get to bring closer. Um, so I'm thinking that there's probably a way to do that in this as well. Wait for this to save. Oh, maybe.
There we go. I think that was my bad. Okay. Uh, we don't have anybody new still. Okay, let's head off. Unfamiliar enemies. Unfamiliar enemies and unfamiliar territory. Advance on the enemy camp to obtain more information. And so, like I was saying, um, these wars come together and they're all living their own lives, doing their own things, and then, bam. Uh, these guys end up, I don't know if they're in the world of the Dynasty Warriors or the Samurai Warriors or something mixed in between. Um, but they're together now and they're, they have. I believe it's just been such a long time where they just don't remember it. It was a race from their memories. Um, but we'll find out more. Tadagatsuku Hanga and Hori Lee Il and Namasa Il were heading to fight uh, Habashi's forces at Mount Makamiki when they were enveloped in a strange mist. Once the mist cleared, they were found themselves in an unknown world. The elite warriors of the Tanagawa uh, were confused by this turn of events. To combat their confusion, they were attacked by Bu Bu, the infamous warrior demon from the Three Kingdoms period of Chinese history. Although they managed to, draw, to drive him off, this only added to their questions. Where were they? What had happened to the Lord and the other Tawagawa officers? What, what was this strange power that Lubu had displayed? Before encountering any answers, however, they first encountered fresh enemies. Okay. Ah, someone's over there. Hmm. Looks like they're preparing for battle. I don't look at that as a flag either. The bad feeling about this. But how do you want to proceed? Standing here won't change a thing. Only your choice to approach them carefully and see what they say. Very well. I'll approach the enemy near, nearby right away. Okay. And then you're going up against the Wei Army. Classic Wei officers there. And we're going to do all three of these in battle. We're going to try to get these all done. Officers, these are us. Hyper attacks, normal attacks. Hyper attacks are going to be like our, um, are only going to be for uh, Samurai Warrior characters. It's like an extra set of attacks they have, starting it off on the charge attack instead of the normal attack. And then, I don't, yeah, I can't change weapons because I don't have any other weapons right now. Okay, let's get to the battlefield. And then... All of this looks like it goes over a brief history of... of if you guys want me to go over it, I'll go over it in a different point, not at this moment. Okay. So yeah, even these guys don't even know that we are... Uh, from a different area. They assume that we are away. Uh, which is another dominant faction in the Dynasty Warriors universe. There we go. Smooth. Yeah, no one's gonna listen to us here. Magic weapons. Press R1 square for normal magic attacks. Perfect. And this little area looks like they practice everything. Lame attack though. Charge magic R1 triangle. Let's try that. Ooh, that's pretty cool. What about? Uh, that's not bad. That's not exciting. That's not bad, though. Okay. 
Okay, let's keep moving. Okay. Oh, I even noticed it actually locked on. Of course, I honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I have not used her very much. I, I don't care much for her weapon or her moveset. Oh, crap. Unique magic, R1 circle. So this must be like the Masu attack of the uh, magic attacks, pretty much. Okay, there we go. I see somebody over here. We still gotta get. Um, Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, sure, entirely what happened. We got. What do we get off that kill? Wise? Sixteen kills. Bad combo. Conjure mount is R one X. Okay, perfect. We don't need mounts now, but that will be good for here in a second, though. Uh, are these guys coming towards me? No, they're not. Ooh. Sun Shao is, though. Use our unique again. There we go. Okay. Come on. Yeah, no, you don't want to. You know you want to die. Ugh. I just can't say how lame that attack is. Okay, there we go. Combos, all that fun stuff. If you've ever played these games before, these combos are really easy to chain together. Ooh, not what I was expecting. Let's see what this unique attack is. I can only imagine. Oh, oh. Nice. Shram? You get one more officer within um, like a minute and a half, which obviously is going to happen. Ooh. <laughs> nice, Ray. Nice. Okay, plenty of time. Team thing. One of my favorite officers from Dynasty Wars 8. Okay, what's your ultimate? Oh, nice. See, these guys aren't really sure even if we're the actual enemy they think we are. Which is honestly pretty good for us. It just makes it. I'm, at least I'm assuming it's good for us. Why would they come over and listen to us here when we get to uh, Sun Quan? Ooh. The lady herself. Oh, you get. Oh, I was hoping more just walk into it. And she. And this is Lord Sinquan's wife. Oh, 
and probably what does she have? Is that that's not her dynasty? I think that's her uh, dynasty warriors nigh weapon. I think I'm not 100% sure if that is actually the case. Uh, nonetheless, the weapon looks cool. I wonder if it's better than the crossbow. Oh, they're not believing us. Oh my guys, you gotta believe us. We're only doing this because you're forcing us to do this. Otherwise, we would not be fighting this out. Oh, that is just I used a double meter there. That's something I did not know could happen. Oh crap, he has the phantom. It's been a while since I've played some of these. We get uh um, some of these movesets. Crap. No, 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 I don't think so. You take the weird spinning area of the gauntlet? Look at it. Die any day now. Or it's either you die or please level up. <laughs> Element weapon. You got two different things. Yeah, guys, don't worry. We're cool. We're cool. We are now. I'm Sun Quan, head of the Sun family. I lead everyone you can see here. We see where that wave was attacking. Uh, but as we marched to intercept them, we, are, we were involved by a strange mist. Once it finally cleared, you were here. A strange mist, you say. The same thing happened to us. We were marching to... Uh, to Kimai? Last side of the path of the mist, then we found ourselves surrounded by a strange enemy force. Oh, crap. Uh, not to mention, the Sun family and the, and the way? If you're saying it's true, we're in a different time and place from our own. That's strange, isn't it? Oh, well, what do you mean? People from different areas, different locations, all coming together like this should be an impossibility. And yet, here we are. We've been caught up in this strange situation, that's for sure. But the cause of the situation remains completely unknown. We really are just wandering in the mist. I'm sorry for simply attacking you without listening to what you had to say. Do you think we can work together to resolve this? I could not ask for a better suggestion. Thank you very much, Master Sun Kwan. Okay. That looks like a couple more people. A... Uh... Lushun. A self-effacing young officer who has conducted himself with sincerity and... Encapsulated both the liveliness of youth and the wisdom of, and, of oh, and the wisdom of resourcefulness, he aided Lu Meng in defeating Guan Yu and succeeded in taking Jing. He served as Grand Commander of our Grand Commander at uh, excuse me if I say these wrong. Lu Meng was able to destroy Yu Bei's huge army. Sun Quan, second son of Sun Jian and his younger brother to Sun Tse. Uh, Sun Quan was praised for his skills and governance. Although he lacked confidence in his physical abilities and decision making, he eventually became a great leader. By far one of the best kings they have. Ding Feng, an officer of Wu who fought in many battles serving Wu over a long period of time. His frightening appearance and overly thick arms um, may have scared many, but at heart he was a poet who would love beautiful scenery. <coughs> Alun Xin, an attendant to Lady. I'm not even gonna try to say 
her name. She's the sister of Sun Quan, and that's that's like all we need to know. <laughs> Who was Bao Zi's daughter? And a member of the once prominent family that had fallen from grace. She was hired for her skills in the battle to act as a bodyguard for Lady uh, Sun. Shiran, a Zuran, an officer who was a class who was a classmate of Sun Quan's, he was supported within Wei or Wu, excuse me, ranks. Although young, he distinguished himself in sus in suspicion of a group of mountain holy cow, in suspicion of a group of mountain bandits and during the battle of Rilaxku. An officer entrusted with the future of Wu, those around him had high expectations for his potential. A nice oh, oh really time wise wasn't bad. I mean, honestly was not expecting it to be that good. Okay, so we got a couple new weapons here. Um Honestly we're gonna sell that. Keep that. We're gonna sell that and we're gonna sell that. The reason being is just because they either don't have um the stat the extra stats on there or um there's empty ones and we have better ones that are in there i like these ones all here though so let's do that our scouts have returned there's a village being attacked by head what who's doing such a thing Dong Zhao, a tyrant from our world, he lives a selfish life with bluntly cruelty, trampling on people, no, trampling the people underfoot. Dong Zhao is raiding the village, and caring of the people living there. We need to hurry up and stop him. Now allow us to go with you. If this tyrant, we, if this is a tyrant we face, I'm sure my powers and battle can be of use. Indeed, it would be also reassuring to have you along, Tadakatsu. It is strange, though, that I feel we have done this before. Let's think of the same thing. This does not feel like our first meeting to me either. So these guys don't remember. Weird. That strange weapon too. If we use it, it's, it seems impossible to, un uh, to unleash power beyond human understanding. It may aid us in future battles. You're right. We've obtained a variety of other weapons too. We need to check them and prepare them for whatever comes next. Um, so we can sell and dismantle weapons now. The battle is getting more and more intense, although that is bringing us more allies too. It's true, to prepare for the coming battles, we need to work with all of them and increase their individual powers. Acquire steals and upgrade levels are now available in base camp. Base camp is a little bit different um, than it was before. Support members. Okay, I should probably be reading this. Okay. Oh, it tells us what their... Oh, Master Nubs, do you have a moment? If I recall correctly, you are Lady Alenchi, yes? What do you want from me? Uh, you have a very small cut on your cheek there. I like that. I would hate to see it become affected. Please use this oil, man. Thank you. It's remarkable that you would notice this tiny cut. I'm used to being around my lady and Lord Sing Kwan. Uh, they are both so reckless that they become accustomed to checking that they are all right. Still, I must apologize for forwardness. I hardly know you. Good that I do apologize for. I am grateful for your concern. <laughs> yeah, good. I hope we get to leave there soon. Wow. Okay. Okay. A little, got a little something kind of going on there. Can, can I ask you something, Lord Lushun? You're the head of the Lu family, right? That's right. And you're the protector of the uh, Il family, uh, right, lady? I'm sure you have a lot of worries. Um, I'm nothing but um, infinity. Yeah, holy cow! I'm so embarrassed that I'm able to handle things like you. I'm still young myself. I've got much to learn. I think you're doing an excellent job. Uh, not, not at all. Excellent. I need to train harder before I reach excellent. Wanted to grow stronger for the sake of your family and for your lord. I understand those feelings all too well. We might be similar, you and I. I think we're going to be good friends. Yes, I like that. Thank you. Okay, and I think that's. If that's all of them there. And so, yeah, so these guys 
are going to start going through things together and start growing. Um, like I said, we do want to balance with them, and they're going to grow in certain ways. Um, so upgrading officers, you can upgrade the abilities of your characters, acquire new skills. The skill acquire command enables you to use skill points to use various powers. Uh, upgrade levels to assign growth points to your characters. Okay. Um, so... Okay, so let's go here. Acquire new skills. Oh, this is weird. This is kind of... This kind of has a feeling from... Um, Dynasty Warriors 9 with the whole entire kind of leveling here. Um, do that. Oh, wait. Okay, that takes two is why. Okay. Yeah, I don't care. I'm throwing them all at him, man. The upgrade levels. And then, okay, that's standard. Okay. So we got Tiger Pike and the Triton. Weapons. This is just where we can dismantle everything if we want to. Um, we're gonna do that, that, that. Okay. Um, equip sacred treasures. We don't have any other treasures to equip. Oh, oh, okay. Attack types: power, technique, speed. Okay, so just like before, I th I think it's a little different actually. Okay, well, we're gonna put in. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And we're actually gonna put. I don't know why I took you out. Oh, you know what? And actually, until we get some more support in here, we're gonna do that instead. Yeah, because these are my only three support characters. Wait. Oh! That just means they're... Okay. Okay, so that just means they're in the, in the support slot. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, we're going to leave it like this. This is what we're going to leave it as. And yep, we already took care of that. We're not dismantling anything. And again, we're not selling anything. Okay, let's head off to the next one. Malevolent Star Elite Members. When you deploy to a battle with elite members in your party, such such characters will expire more or it will require more experience than they normally would. The Dongshuo army is attacking the people and stealing supplies. Defeat them at once and save the people. Well, you know, that's exactly what we do. Uh, defeat 20 enemies using Unity Magic, so probably any ability we're going to get. Win without Machao? Um, holy cow. I have no idea. Uh, no, I believe this is uh, that's how you say it. Noah? Or one, uh, Yu Ping uh, being defeated? Win without any peasants being defeated? Sounds hard, but let's do this. Tadakatsu's Honda and the other allied warriors of the Tadagawa uh, clashed with the forces of Wei, brave heroes from the Three Kingdom period of China history, Chinese history. Due to fight, they managed to reach, excuse me, reach a mutual understanding which proved beneficial to both sides. The strange weapons that mysteriously appear, and the mighty power demonstrated by Lu Bu. Face, facing so many unknown elements of this bizarre world, the two forces uh, rashly considered the current situation and decided that more allies they had, the better. Then, Wu scouts returned with news the tyrant Dong, uh, Dong Zhuo was on a rampage in the village nearby, or nearby village. The combined forces of the, of the Taogawa and the Wu struck out to save the people. I don't, know that, I don't know what reason they have, but hurting the people and pillaging their belongings will never be allowed. We have to defeat Dong Zhuo quickly and save the people. Okay. So who do we got? Oh, what am I talking about? Who do we got? Okay, so we got definitely getting quick on this. 
And this is a battle where it's not meant to be slow, it's a fast battle. Um, so let's... Go! Uh, okay, this is... This is weird. Like, holy cow. It's not weird in a bad way, I've just never... Used this before. Okay. Unity magic is performed by all seven members of your party. Holy cow. It's the most powerful form of magic. You can also team awards by defeating enemies with these attacks. Uh, when your unity magic gauge found below the meter, the member is inf member info is full. You can unleash unity magic by pressing LR2 or R2, L2. Um, but note that would completely deplete. Yeah, obviously. It's filled. Okay. So let's see. The most efficient way to fill the gauge is to strike enemies with charge magic. Or to strike an enemy officer after you have achieved the hit counter of 300, 300, 300 or 1,000 or more. Dang. Okay, cool. I feel like it's a waste here. Not gonna lie, I honestly just wanted to see what it was like. It's exactly like, um. Oh crap. I'm trying to remember. It was like. R3 and L. I can think of what it is, I just don't remember the name of it. Okay, let's keep moving. Oh, so we have trait. Oh, okay. Ooh. Wait. Okay, okay. Who's like, is this the guy we've been working on? Uh, they just. How could he be? So, what happens if I switch to targets? There's just two of us. <laughs> I can't see I've ever had that happen before. At least not for a long time. Anchors. At various locations of the battlefield, you will find anchors protruding from the ground. Anchors are a medium that transmit power of the gods uh, from the heavenly realm to the transdestri uh, world realm. By using the sacred treasures to accumulate such power, you'll be able to cast magic. And anchor allows you to attain the power of the gods. In particular, their magic gauge will be recover rapidly hold down the one oh, oh okay okay I'm getting that I understand what that's going Yeah, sorry buddy, I don't think so. Yeah, you just need to leave my peasants alone, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, these are... Those characters right there belong to this... Okay, Sarah Warrior. Now we're back to the Dynasty Warrior characters. I'm like... What are we coming up against here? Another anchor. Sorry, buddy. A little pie. Couldn't see what I was doing. Holy cow. Can I just give him a better angle? That's all I want. Okay. 
Oh, here we go. Probably one of the best things in this game is just slaughtering people on the horseback. Hey, you're not killing my cousin dude, I'm sorry. How is this horse taking so much? Don't worry guys, we're not gonna let you we're not gonna let the peasants die, we're not gonna let you guys die. Either. Oh what the heck is that? On the battlefield, there are units known as Chaos Origins, um, whose very nature is evilly influenced by power by gods. Normal attacks and short attacks have hardly any effect on them, so you would need to use a magic or rage attacks to deal a significant amount of damage. All the normal attacks and charge attacks have little effect. The Chaos Origins are lost ones. This check can be effectively fill up your magic gauge. Nice. Uh, Chaos Origins simply alter the nature of nearby enemy off. Okay, so we definitely need to take care of him. Um, if your count is over 300, okay. That is, uh, different. I'm not gonna... Uh, uh, oh, dang, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. We're not about these reindeer games, dude. I use my Unity Magic in such a bad spot. It sucks because I'm gonna miss out the uh... I miss one. I, mean, it's not, I guess it's not horrible. Ooh, maybe not. Because we can still attack. So we're obviously not done yet then. ええ。無事で何をです。ここは我々に任せてください。トータクは。ああ。また悪さをしてかえたのかしら。あの、やくさまそうの。まろは。ちょっと みんな、トータクを探して邪魔する人は徹底的に痛めつける。どうしてんきゅ。あの手だ。まさか。神を追撃するつもりか。いや、you Trying to, try to kill, kill this guy. Come on, guys! This is such a cool thing! If you defeat a you have achieved a, a hit count of 300 or greater, a special item known as Tier of Gods will drop. If you press L3, uh, while possessing this item, your attack and defense will tech, uh, tech temporarily be uh, increased dramatically. Uh, Power Stage Snow is Rage. Um, let's see. Dinosaur characters will unleash a Rage attack. Samurai characters will unleash a Masu Fury attack. After releasing the Rage attack, if you continue pressing circle, the attack will be sustained. During this attack... Okay. If you defeat a certain enemy... Okay, okay. So that's like, um... There's another one that was like that. Oh, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. But I definitely remember one of them being like that. I think it's one of the other Samurai games, I'm pretty sure. Good. Good. Bye. Chill. Just, just here for a second. Him killed. 
残っているのは配下の兵だけで本当自分本位な男。There you go. Okay, okay. Okay, there's one more to go. Rise of the Triton Wave. It's interesting, these guys on Dongjo's side? Or they just happen to be here. Because uh, Nobunaga himself is more of a guy who's along the lines of um, Chao Sao instead of someone like Don Juo. Crap. Did not need to do that. Okay. Gates open? Looks like it. <coughs> What's this in here? Dude, I just love this train so much. Yeah. Oh. Pina. Using a bow. A lot different than I remember it being. Ooh, crap. Is that? Come on. There we go. Let's clear the area out. And then you gotta do that epic throw here again here in a second. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, so we go over here and then we do this. Oh, look at that. I Probably just clear out the whole place with that. Pretty close, though. So. Cannot wait until I get the rest of the booster dice. Okay, no? That's fine. And this is the point. Um, I am not gonna get lucky enough to get. I'm gonna get a lot of people in here. I'm um, dispelling any magic. Every, every Masu, enemy Masu characters can use all magic attacks. Make it difficult to handle. Uh, but striking enemy while with magic. Okay, so it stops them from using their magic. Sounds perfect. Oh, that was a good hit. It's, it's, I would have had it too if not for that very first one. Because I just kind of wasted it. I guess it, I wasn't even sure what I was doing or what the attack was like. Ooh, good hit. Dead. And no, you're my last one. There we go. This fight is over. Stinks, I missed that out. That's fine. 
光徳そして奴の裏に上がという男一体何を考えている Yeah, it's kind of weird to see Nobunaga and Nangjuo banding together. Because like, Nobunaga is more noble, it seems. You defying the justice in our, in our hearts allowed us to drive off those villains. Still, Master Tadagatsuku, are you here as well? I'm also meeting you for the first time in this world, Master Sinkwan. This world? Did, did you say? You don't think about this place? We've become lost in some mist and found ourselves in a strange place. If you feel anything, please share it with us. So you just arrived. Allow me to take you to Master Liu Bei, Master Kenshin. Then, the two of them have formed an alliance in order to fight Nobunaga in this world. We are working with them. Nobunaga? Dong Zhuo and Nenshin that name. Very well, please take us to them. I am a child. The eldest son of Mateng? The leader of uh, Zhilin, or Zhilang, uh, he became a passionate and emotional young warrior. He had an honest personality and an exceptional ability to act. These traits created a warrior who wielded his spear for anything he believed, been, believed without a second doubt in his mind. Without a single doubt in his mind, after displaying his skills in the countless battles, he earned the nickname, the Glorious Machao. The daughter of Guan Yu and sister of Guan Ping, Guan Xing and Guan Xia, Guan Yinping, showed great talent on the battlefield after originally learning martial arts for self defense. Although she possessed invaluable strength, she herself was oblivious to the fact. Oh crap, I did it again. Okay, but it wasn't bad though. We got um, A class on that, not bad at all. We got a bunch of weapons here. Um, let's see. Sell that. Sell that. Sell, sell, and sell. Then... Um, we only two 15s. Sell, sell. Do that. Just a lot of open spots and then nice we require walnut diligence and courage nice got a good chunk of bonds up and see what's up next thank you for coming I'm sure I don't even introduce myself to the way uh, or to woo to the woo but still, I am Liu Bei. I formed an alliance with the Kenshin, the, the, lead, of, the lead of the forces resisting the Wudaga. The righteousness of Liu Bei is worthy. The righteousness of Liu Bei is worthy of our trust. He is the most required in the battle with his demon king. That said, we only have a tiny force when compared to that which, which we face. They have taken the to calling us the rebel army. Hold a moment. Why are we fighting Lord Nobunaga? And what is this world anyway? To be honest, there's much that we also don't know. That we also don't know. But I will tell you everything that we do. In a scene. なにゆえこのようなことになったのかどうすれば元の世界へ戻れるのか力を尽くしては言えるものも未だ解き明かせておらぬそんなある日突然織田信長が兵を引き周囲の領地へ侵攻を開始したこの世界に歯を唱える手にしたのだと。信長は瞬く間に周囲の将を従えていった。奇妙な力で、あらゆる敵を捻じ伏せながら。だが、このような強引なやり方を見過ごせるはずもない。私と剣心殿、そして信玄殿は信長に対抗す
Having seen the way the old army was acting, we share the same doubts as you. We also need to uncover the mysteries of this world and find a way to get ba back to our own. Joining forces is starting to sound like a pretty good idea. Good, I am grateful to, to have it for a good fortune of bringing us together. Uh, for, for freeing us further allies. Lord Liu Bei, Lord Kinsha, my bad news. The Takeda lands have been invaded by the Oda army. Uh, Hojo, Hojo, and holy cow. Yamashito, Yamagawa, allies of Nobunaga have been sighted among the enemy. What? Yukimaru and his brother were Lord Shingr Shingren? Uh, Shingen? Uh, but they won't hold out long against such a large force. I fear you speak the truth. Please, you must hurry to aid them. Very well. You're we coming at once. Okay. We got Liu Bei, descendant of Liu Shen, king of the Eastern Han Dynasty. He took to the battlefield alongside his oath for his Guan Yu and Zheng Fei in order to bring peace to the people and prosperity back to the Han Dynasty. Compassionate and charitable, he had a tendency to act based on feelings more than logic. His warm personality earned him love and loyalty of many people. Kenshin Usai, a devil from. Um, excuse me if I say this wrong. Echigo, he is known as the god of war when on the battlefield. He consistently searches for the truth of warfare, making him something of a loner that lives for the sake of fighting. He rarely shows any emotion, instead, devoting himself solely to the battle at hand. And Fazeng. A key figure in Liu Bei's efforts to take the land of Shu, and formerly served uh, Li, uh, Liu Zheng. He was a brilliant—he was a brilliant tactician, pacified the Ying province with the strategies, as well as participated in the invasion of Hongzong. He strongly believed in repaying his debts whenever it was good for, whether it was good for good or ill. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm, we got quite a collection of weapons now. Uh, using a more powerful weapon will increase pa our performance in battle. And fuse weapons. Okay, this is what I was waiting for. Start fusing these weapons together. Okay. Let's get these weapons fused real quick. We got levels we can give out. Because uh, there are definitely people who are going to want to go in with first. So let's make our team real fast. And then we got some mounts. Nice. Um... I think Wallace, yeah, Wallace is the one we have. Oh, uh, we're gonna need Tadagatsuku in there. Um, what are you, your technique? Uh, yep, let me go here. And then, um, Oh, I'm like looking at the wrong colors. And then, let's get this mixed up here real quick. Um, we're gonna do that. Um, <laughs> we got some events here too that we need to do. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna switch you out. Okay, so let's see these events. In such dire straits, um, in such dire straits, we find ourselves. It is imperative that we find our way out as soon as possible. But yes, I agree. Uh, but I am not pessimistic. After all, I have you as my steadfast ally, Master Kenshin. You must remain loyal to your to your precepts of honor. Together, we will fight for justice and benevolence. Having you on my side is great comfort. I feel the same way. As Confucius says, the virtuous man will not live. Will not remain alone. I will treasure the opportunity. I have to spend time with you. We have more allies now. The forces, and the forces of our armies grow stronger yet. I understand. You and I must work together to protect them, to protect the people who have been caught up in this nightmare. Indeed, and I believe that this, um, and I believe that that, that may help us solve the mystery of how this chaotic war came to be in the first place. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. It is brilliant indeed. What was that? Is there something on my face? No, I was just noticing the magnificent armor you have. 
Uh, but what made you decide to cover your body in red? I do so always stand out. I want everyone to know that they, they are on the battlefield. So enemies flee at the very sight. See, I myself feel my soul grow passionately at the sight of your red armor. But your allies it gives courage to your enemies' fear. Hmm. It should say, your own appearance is quite striking, Master so Chow. You stand out in even more than my red, frankly. You've been the ideal target for an enemy. You probably shouldn't have ventured too far forth. I'm grateful for your concern. Then we must go forth together. Two such splendid warriors riding together may be too much of the enemy's ice to handle. Huh? That's an unorthodox plan, certainly. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and then, last one. You're incredible, Ling Xing. You're so strong, kind, and beautiful. You're just perfect. And by comparison, I'm just... I suppose... I'm to be the leader of the old clan. Yep, yeah, my son is more suitable. Oh, okay, that's your son. Leader of trust. Are you just not... Uh, de degrade yourself, so... You are strong and beautiful yourself. You have so many fine qualities. Uh, but, but I am nothing besides you. But I am nothing beside your perfection. Oh, I'm far from perfect, I assure you. I have many, many flaws. Oh, really? Just know what they are. <laughs> I'll tell you once we know each other a little bit better. Oh, you know how the brush decided an awkward request. Yeah, that was kind. Of, that was kind of an awkward request. Okay. Um. Upgrade, officer upgrades. We are going to do some officer upgrades here. We have how many? We only have one. Oh no, we don't. We don't have any. Ooh, I don't want to go up that far. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna leave it at that for now. Yeah, weapon fusion. Perfect. Okay. Oh, we're at 20 here. Um, base attack is 19. Okay. Fusion weapons. Just a little, I thought I was supposed to be able to fuse. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. And then there's that. Oh crap. That's not what I meant to do. Go back here real quick, because I did not want to like to doubt that. Now I think we have one more thing to check. Okay, so we got a total of six more to join. Okay, I just want to see what that was. Okay, guys, well, thank you so much. We completed chapter one, so the pretty much the prologue in chapter one to um, Warriors Orochi, number four. And so, um, from what I gather from the story so far, so we are all been pulled back into this world because of the ring, or because of the bracelets that were given by the gods. Um, so they put us all back together, we don't know what we're doing. And some of us have been here longer than others, like Lord Kenshin and uh, Liu Bei. Um, and so yeah, let's figure out what's going on, how we can solve this and stop them and get everything back to normal. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for joining in today. If you guys have any comments or anything, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And let me know how, um, how I think it's going to go. And whether you like Dynasty Warriors or not. Or I, just like the series or not. Um, Dynasty Warriors, Sam Warriors, Orochi Warriors. Just let me know. Um, I know it's kind of a cult game here in the States. Um, but I know it has a really strong following at the same time though. Um, so I know I'm really excited. I can't wait to go through this with you guys. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Again, thank you so much for stopping by today. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell people about this. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.